Yeah. What's up? Don't turn down the volume. I need to fucking laugh. Guys, keep it going for Samantha. How about that? For Samantha, for Matt, for these two people that have to take a shit. I'm gonna fucking take a dump. I'm gonna, I can't wait another half an hour of this bullshit. I'm going. This cute Asian guy in the front. Oh. Feeling good? You guys have a good time tonight? Come on, guys. What a great show. It's Tuesday, 10 o'clock. We're partying, man. Partying. Shit. It's good to be here, man. I'm, uh, I'm Canadian, huh? Yeah. We're like the Mexicans of the North. Yeah, I snuck in. It was fucking snowy, all right? No. Those who don't know, it's very difficult for Canadians to come work in the United States. I mean, as it should be, I just learned the language like three weeks ago. Big moment when I got to bring all my paperwork to the guy at the INS crossing the border of the States. Filled out my information with the computer, stamped my passport valid, handed it back to me, looked me straight in the eyes, smiled, winked, and said, Welcome to America! <laughs> May all your dreams come true! Happy Ramadan! <laughs> you know there's the same guy that gets approved his own visa. Oh look, it's Sanji sir. Approved. <laughs> Want to speak English first language? Denied. Thank you, come again. <laughs> Alright, good start for me. See, we got some silent laughers right in this corner over here. <laughs> You guys are the silent laughers, so people laugh like this. <laughs> Not a great comedy crowd, but an excellent dog whistle. Thank you. <laughs> don't cover your mouth when you laugh, man. I need those fucking laughs, okay? You can't laugh and shove that shit back in. I earned that shit. <laughs> and thanks to the one clap in the back. I don't even give up an applause, but... Sorry, God, for this asshole. Just so you know something about Canadians, biologically, we're different. Right? For me, my left testicle produces sperm. Right testicle, maple syrup. <laughs> Which is great, because the night it can come on your tits, in the morning, your pancakes. Come on, right here. Right. She's like, I like waffles. I like waffles. I fucking like waffles. I actually think Canada was discovered in the summertime, you know? Everyone got their mouth like, this is fucking awesome! A few months later, like, holy shit. It is so fucking cold here. I try to leave, but the wagon wheels are frozen to the fucking ground. We brought beer, but we'll fucking stay. I know, guys, I'm a little retarded, okay? Just don't, and don't groan to that word, okay, guys? It's a great word. Retarded, great word. Means you're once tarded, lost your tard, found it again, became retarded. <laughs> He said something that's offensive. I'm upset. You can't laugh then groan. Make up your fucking mind, okay? You can't laugh and decide halfway through that stuff. <laughs> I enjoyed that joke and realized halfway through I'm offended by that. I need a safe space. I need a safe space free from words and thoughts and ideas that are different. How about this? How about you all eat a dick with your safe space, huh? Fucking idiot. Safe space. Yeah. What happens when you're not allowed to offend people? What if I don't like you and want to offend you? It's not illegal. Oh, you're offended? Fuck yeah! Can I go on now? People are always like, he, he's right, he's right. Yes. <laughs> Weather's great, California, though. I fucking love the weather. It's awesome. Summertime in like two days is awesome. You ladies are so lucky in the summer. What the fuck you get to wear? It's awesome what you guys get to wear. So what are you wearing? Oh, just a napkin? Cutting my right nipple? And I got a string on my ass. That is my dress. That's it. You know, for guys, it's unfair. I got like a fucking shirt covering jeans and a belt. It's like, it's like a fucking firestorm down there, ladies. Like, honestly, don't give a blowjob in the summertime. That's disgusting, all right? Honestly, it's just gross. This guy's shaking. <laughs> oh, this guy's a fucking idiot. You guys are lucky. You guys get to leave after the show. I have to hang out with myself all the fucking time. <laughs> Is something on fire besides this guy? Oh, he said something. <laughs> I think the weather makes us dumb in LA. So you're right, Southern California, the weather, the sun. It's relentless, man. You can't sleep in because the sun's like, hey! Hey! Get out of bed! It's California outside! <laughs> but all of California, we're all dumb in the south, man. People walk in LA, 
play the boo. Go to Orange County, like do. Go to San Diego, like do. You go even further south than that, they don't even speak English. <laughs> Fuck off, that was a geography joke, assholes, okay? Oh, he's talking about another country! Ah, yeah, yeah. What show are you watching? Is there a whole other fucking show in there? <laughs> Let's walk in the meeting of those black people over there, what the fuck are they doing? <laughs> Honestly, black women are my favorite audience member. Just to be honest, honestly, black women laugh like they're stabbing each other. <laughs> it's like a violent experience. <laughs> oh, what happened to Kimmy? Oh, we went to comedy club. She's in critical condition. The smiling in your face all the while. Go take your place, the black stabbers. Black stabbers. <laughs> Even the white guys. I live in West Hollywood, a lot of weird people there, man. There was this guy in my neighborhood walking his pet pig. No, fuck you, hipsters. Fuck you and your pet pig, okay? Here's the rule of thumb, guys. You are not allowed to have a pet that you might eat if shit goes down. And I'm not talking like it's the apocalypse and we're out of food and after you're big, I'm talking like, it's really late at night. <laughs> you're pretty stoned on your couch. <laughs> Everything is closed. All of a sudden you look across the room and Porky's looking kind of delicious. Cause you wouldn't eat your pet dog. Sorry to fed the Asian table, but you wouldn't eat your pet dog. <laughs> He's like, I would, I would. <laughs> Breakfast, breakfast! Oh, fuck off, guys. I got a Korean lady in my neighborhood. She's got a different schnauzer every three weeks. <laughs> What's up, Mrs. Wu? How come Sparky's got a spot on his left side? Last week it was on his right side. <laughs> Would you like to know? <laughs> Lunch? It's okay, guys. You know what they say, once you go Asian, you'll go back to Caucasian. Come on. Right here, right here. <laughs> guys, it's comedy night, okay? Comedy nights, not take shit seriously evening, all right? No, I can't believe he said that. <sighs> I'm in the entertainment business, but I'm over movies, man. Movies are fucking shit. Like, I love those, those superhero movies, but it's a little much, you know? I don't like them, it's the same plot. Every movie's the same plot, you know? The superhero can't have love in their life out of fear they're gonna get hurt. It's like, don't get too close to me. My life is too dangerous. <laughs> but in that token, like, everyone's gotta get laid, right? Does that mean like the superhero's got some chicks on the side he doesn't really give a shit about? Yeah, I'm totally gonna call that bitch from Gotham Cafe. <laughs> I don't give a fuck what happens to her. <laughs> Oh, Batman, you're so dreamy. Thanks a lot, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. She's dead. That sucks. I'll have to fight crime. And think about it, if you're a Superman, how easy would it be to get rid of a dead body? Right, you just fly it out to the Earth's atmosphere and let it go? <laughs> so that one fatal day, Shh, Houston, we have a problem. There seems to be 96 dead hookers floating around the rings of Saturn. <laughs> Somebody get the kryptonite. You guys don't like me after that Asian joke, huh? Is that what happened? Kind of just lost you there. It's like... Meanwhile, she's like, oh, Then there's the show Law and Order. You guys watch Law and Order? Who's ever seen it? It's on every day, every month. Right now it's on, on one station. Right. You know, like what Law and Order is. You ever notice in Law and Order, every time the police come to interview a witness, they're always in the middle of their job and never really stop doing their job. You ever see that? It's like, wow, a double homicide? <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Good thing I was at work all that day. 
That is pretty weird, really, yeah. Wow, what? It was Rebecca? Yeah, I haven't seen Rebecca in years, really. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long time, you know, seriously. It's, it's seriously rough. I mean, very weird, very weird. What, what did I accept? Oh, my God, you said there was, there was some uh, some anal penetration. <laughs> <laughs> That joke doesn't have a good ending, but you guys can see where the humor could be, right? Look at this little goofy guy. Look how happy that guy is. That guy is so high. I've never seen him. That guy is high! Motherfucker! At least you guys are happy. You're not schnarfers. That's my word for the day. Like, schnarfy, schnarf. Look at this guy feeling good about himself. What an asshole. Schnarfy, schnarf. How dare he come to Pasadena and try to make me laugh. Schnarfy, schnarf. I apologize to you guys. I'm a white, heterosexual, educated, not disgustingly ugly male. I know, I know. We are hated right now, okay? And I'm funny, that's not fair. If I was a fat Asian lesbian in a wheelchair, I'd be so fucking famous by now. Right, give a name and a catchphrase, like, fortune wheelie. I get all my hacky fat Asian lesbian in a wheelchair, but you're like, oh, you know you're a fat Asian lesbian in a wheelchair when your electric wheelchair breaks down and your chubby girlfriend has to come to your tiny food restaurant to sit on your face. <laughs> Fortune wheelie. You know, fuck off, guys. That joke is fucking awesome, okay? <laughs> Unless you happen to be a fat Asian lesbian in a wheelchair. But if you were here, I would quit comedy immediately because it's the funniest thing I've ever fucking seen. Look at this guy beating up a soda. My goal is to make you laugh so hard you pee in his pants. <laughs> Political correctness is killing this fucking country, okay? Killing it, man. African American, uh, you're not all from Africa, black people. My sister married a black guy. He's from the islands. He's also Canadian. How to refer to him? This is my brother-in-law. He's Grenadian Canadian. That joke's really funny, but it's very dark over there. I can't see the black people laughing. Because I'm always meeting a new black person trying to school me on the history of racism, okay? I get racism, guys. I'm a Jew. I get the racism. You know? And I'll take, the, I'll take slavery over extermination any day of the week. You take the Holocaust, I'll take whips and chains. I write Django, you write Schindler's List. Yeah, because I have one more dumbass conversation about racism, I'm gonna shackle myself to a cotton plantation. In Auschwitz. <laughs> Fuck off, guilty whiteies, they're having a good time. Snurfy snurf. I can't believe they said that. Oh, fucking country. Everybody's complaining about everything. Immigration? No, no, you can't. I can't do it. Like, look, nobody likes Trump. Fine, don't like Trump. But he's right about some things. There are people coming to this country, committing crimes, and then staying here. And we're not allowed to send them back. I say, fuck it. Send them back, man. Wrap that person in duct tape, fly them in a helicopter, drop it off in the shitty country. <laughs> here you go. Message from America. And you know why they're coming here? Because it's awesome here. It's awesome here. It sucks in their fucking country. Have you seen the prisons here? I have, they're amazing. <laughs> it's a magic. If you don't have a job, man, go to fucking prison, seriously. We should be advertising to third world countries. Like, does your life suck? Are you not going anywhere and you need to change? Well, come to prison. Do you want three square meals a day? a roof over your head, and you get to hang out with your friends all day long? Well, come to prison! Also, if you're into daily beatings and man-on-man ass rape, well, prison's for you! All you gotta do is rob a bank, steal a car, punch a baby in the face, and they just scroll all the crimes you can commit. Where'd I lose you guys? Where'd I lose you guys? Is it I'm punching the baby in the face? Is that where I lost it? Yeah, no, that's... It's not a good, it's, it's a funny expression, punching a baby in the face, like you think about it. Like, you know that expression, it's like stealing candy from a baby? 
That's not a good expression. Because it's pretty easy. It's not very easy to steal a candy from a baby. If one thing babies have, it's a firm grip on shit. You ever try to... <laughs> You can't just grab that candy. The expression should be, it's like punching a baby in the face. <laughs> right? I mean, they never see it coming. Like, oh. And they got no words. They can't complain. You know? <laughs> Who are they going to tell on you? <laughs> Mother comes in, what happened to Junior? I don't know. I was just sitting here and I'm saying, oh. He started crying. Weird. I see you covering your mouth. Fucking stop it. Stop covering the mouth, all right? I earned those fucking jokes. Yeah, you right over there. Stop it. You fucking let it out. Let it out. Let it out. Let your heart laugh. Do you think your rib cage is a jail cell, mama? <sighs> Speaking of punching babies, like, you ever watch... Just wait for, oh God, oh God, what is, what is that? Like, you ever notice, you know in movies, there's always like a crying baby in a scene, right? I want to know, like, how did they get the baby to cry? Right? Is there like a designated baby crier maker? You know, like, some guy whose sag job is to stay on set and make all the babies cry? It's like, hey, we need, we need a crying baby, I guess a crying baby, give me one second, guys, give me one second, we're right there. the baby over to the abs, like, and that's why this relationship will never work. <laughs> Guys, this is a microphone. <laughs> there was no babies actually hurt <laughs> in the making of that joke. You guys like, Country, man. I love America. Man, there's so much hypocrisy in America. You know, I was like, don't do drugs, but let's go drinking. <laughs> don't shoot a man unless that gun's registered. Uh oh, I just shot that guy. That's all right. Go to your priest and apologize. He said do five Hail Marys and everything's all right. Now arrest that guy for doing drugs. We don't have a justice system. We got a financial institution. I'm proud to be an American. Please to know I'm free. Get off my lawn. Stupidity's running rampant with political correctness, guys. Hear about the Boy Scouts now? Boy Scouts here are now allowing girls. What the fuck? <laughs> Who's gonna sell the cookies? <laughs> and for years, the Boy Scouts of America were anti-gay. Anti-gay? Boy Scouts? Anybody else think that's a little bit of hypocrisy? Considering you have the term scouting boys in your title. <laughs> we got rules, the Boy Scouts. We got rules. None of that gay stuff. <laughs> now top your handkerchiefs and put on your short shorts, fellas. Because <laughs> we're heading out to the woods, cuddled up in the darkness all night. <laughs> Tommy, work on your sewing badge. Mark, Ricky, rub two sticks together. <laughs> I'm going to pitch a tent. Yeah, but now they changed the rule. You can't be a gay boy scout, but you can gay, be, a, be a gay boy scout leader. Great. Anybody know any self-aware, out of the closet, eight-year-olds are out there? It's like, oh my God, tonight we're going camping. <laughs> I ain't like a fire make some s'mores tonight. I'm staying in your tent, big boy. <laughs> Don't be all uncomfortable, guys. You're only gay if you fuck back. <laughs> oh, it's like, too late for me, man. Too late for me. Too late for me. And I can't believe we're still discussing this issue in 2018, guys. Be who you're going to be, you know? If you're going to be gay, be gay. If you're going to be straight, be straight. It's not a nature-nurture debate. You're not going to nurture your kids into being straight. 
Mommy's not gonna come home and see daddy plastering the baby's room wall pictures of Playboy centerfolds on it. <laughs> what do you do? Get yourself a vagina and booby mole that spins around the crib like <laughs> Hey, what's your daughter play? What's our new Fisher Price dildo? <laughs> Don't worry guys, that doesn't exist either, okay? <laughs> There is, however, a Lego vagina. Look it up, look it up. She's on Googling it right now. There you go. Right there. I can't get Google! This is my ideal audience member, right there in the front row, not looking up. It's great. <laughs> I've never seen the audience heckle each other before. That was fucking awesome. That was fun. She still doesn't know. What the fucking bitch? You should take her outside. Come on, fucking bitch. What the fucker? Guys, I'm gonna round applause for all your staff tonight working hard, too, guys. Make sure you tip them. Make sure you tip them. I also have uh, my comedy album after the show, guys. I sell it for $375, so just get out your money. Don't make it weird, come on. Yeah, yeah four ladies in a row. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 All right, I got a couple minutes. Where the, who else can we make fun of? Where are the vegans? Any vegans here tonight? Good, go fuck yourselves, vegans. <laughs> I would totally eat a vegan if given the opportunity. <laughs> would you guys, right? That'd be like the best meal of the year, right? You ever met these people? They're so fucking annoying vegans, you know what I mean? They're like the weakest people on earth. They're like, what's up, vegan? How you doing, vegan? <laughs> hey, vegan, Big Breeze coming, vegan. Hold on, there, vegan! Hold on, vegan! <laughs> I once dated a vegan, that was annoying, right? Because she was against animal cruelty. I'm like, who the fuck is not against animal cruelty? There's another side of that picket fence. Guy carrying a sign that says, Kick puppy, kick puppy. Kick puppy. I'm not going to kick a puppy or punch a kitten. Well, that will murder the shit out of a pig. I got three mottos when it comes to food. We breed them to eat them. Swine is divine. And if you fry it, I'll try it. <laughs> the other day I ate a full chicken. You ever do that? You ever eat a full chicken? Yeah. Starts on your plate, this giant rotund bird. By the time you're done with it, this plate filled with fat and grizzle and bone. And every time I eat it, I felt bad. I feel bad for the chicken. I felt bad for the chicken for being born so delicious. <laughs> Then my friend tells me he's off chicken. I'm like, you're off chicken? How could you ever be off chicken? There is nothing that could happen to make me be off chicken. I could be gang raped by a bunch of chickens and I still wouldn't be off chicken. In fact, I'd probably be more on chicken. He's so pissed off about that gang rape, I'd try to get back at the chicken for eating that for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah, maybe even during the gang rape, I'd be plotting my revenge. You know, bop, bop, you better try that now, bitch! Bop, bop, <laughs> Whatever, guys. Love me or hate me. You're gonna never see another grown man get raped by an invisible chicken ever in your entire life. <laughs> Show me that. I see so many eyes. What the fuck? This is just stupid. We'll never get this. came to this country. I'm, a, I'm an immigrant, but I'm from Canada, so it's not so different. But people, <laughs> it's not so different. Uh, we just don't have Mexicans, guys. Seriously, there's no Mexicans. Okay. Because once they've crossed one border, they're sure as fuck not going to cross another. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> people have weird names, though. People come from foreign countries, America, Canada, their names it mean something in their language. They come here, it means something completely different. We have a friend who's a teacher, first day of class, doing attendance, kept on screwing up people's names. She was like, Peter! Here. Michael! Here. <laughs> Asshole! <laughs> Asshole! Some kid in the back's like, it's a sholey. <laughs> she goes on, she's like, Robert! Shithead! Shithead! 
some kid that's like, it's the thief. <laughs> so Nancy just wants to screw it up again. No way, no how, not a third time. Doesn't want to get fired from the job. She's got to get right. She can't fuck up. It's like, Jennifer! Michelle! <laughs> Kunta Fassi! Kunta Fassi! Some kid in the back's like, it's cut face! And the weirdest part, that kid's from Arcadia. <laughs> then I did that, show, that joke in Irvine, right? This girl came up to me after the show. She grew up in a pretty urban neighborhood. She was like, uh, she came up, she said like, the same experience with her class. Teacher was like, uh, uh, Danielle, <laughs> Stephanie, <laughs> Shady Nasty, <laughs> Shady Nasty. And everyone in the crowd's like, shady, nasty. <laughs> Who the hell is that? Finally, a big black girl in the back class, like, it's your dynasty. <laughs> and you know that shit's true, because you just can't make it up. You guys have been fantastic. My name is Adam Richard. Thank you so much, guys. You guys have been great. Keep on fighting. Thank you, guys.